Hey guys, this is Janelle Pison here, back with another video, and today I'm gonna show you a phishing email I uh, received, and I'm actually I've actually dissected it a bit, and it's kind of stupid. So we're gonna go to here. Uh, yes, this is relevant for later on. Um, so obviously, I think we all know what a phishing email is. It's something to try to get you to provide your super secret, sweet, juicy, top secret credentials. And so this particular phishing email here, um, this was supposed to be apparently a PDF, except an SH. It was. It's actually an SH email file, which it would be more convincible if it was a link. But you know what? I decided to take a look at it. And uh, kudos, um, shout out to Proton Mail for detecting this as a spam email. Um, I think this is. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, y'all did a good job. Anyways, um, so I want to take a look at it. I got a VM here, and I was doing some stuff earlier. What is this? Okay, well, first off, we're just gonna cut to the chase. Um, I've already done enough retakes of this, so I'm just gonna cut to the chase. What this thing does is, it's actually supposed to be a fake login page, and it's going to send your information, your login info, your email and password, plus your IP address over to a telegram channel and it does this via a bot because it sends a message to the bot or something and which will then post a message to the channel now yes i know the token is in broad daylight which i mean you could have at least tried to obfuscate your attack i mean wouldn't you want to at least obfuscate this I mean, normally, yes, but even in a phishing email, wouldn't you want to obfuscate this? I mean, I I'm going to post all of this in the description. I'm just going to post it all in the description and instructions as to about what we're going to do. So, ultimately, what uh, we're going to do is I'm going to teach you how this works. So, fun little fact, if you tell net any website, say Google.com over port 80, or I guess HTTPS works too, but HTTP is unencrypted, but this really doesn't matter as this is just an example I'm going to show you. So if you tell it any website will port 80, and if you type in get uh, forward slash, get space forward slash, it'll just throw out a bunch of HTML. Um, I learned this, I read this off somewhere, I forgot where, but you know. Yeah, I found that interesting. And what we can do with this actually is make requests. So what we're going to do is we're going to send a basic message, and we're going to do api.telegram.org forward slash bot, and uh, we're gonna use our token. I'm gonna. I can't split screen this, can I? Oh well. All right. We'll keep this always on top. So we're gonna take our little token here, which I have in the description. We're gonna paste the clipboard, and then we're gonna do type send message. Basically, what's there, and fill in the blanks. And then the chat ID is going to be this. Um, and then and text equals um, whatever message you want. Now, I think you should probably URL encode it. And if you don't know what that is, you just search up like URL encode. Or just go to this website. I'll put it in the description. Type in another message, which has to be in HTML. Which we'll is do this message, which I sent earlier. Um, we're gonna do encode and then we're gonna copy and paste this paste it here and then for the final touches and pass mode equals HTML and I just made the same mistake again um, if you typed all of this you actually want to copy anything from the forward slash onwards you want to copy selection and then we're just gonna delete all of that or otherwise if you know hey you can't do that then cool Otherwise, we're just going to connect to this over port 80, um, and this is connected. So then what we're going to do is we're going to type get, in all caps, space, and then paste what we got. Or you just type in, basically, if you just went straight to this, um, you got to type in bot followed by the token, um, forward slash send message, question mark, chat underscore ID equals the chat ID, and ampersand text equals... The your, your URL encoded HTML message, ampersand, parse underscore mode equals HTML, hit enter, and it'll close the connection. 
I assume it's worked. Maybe they've gotten a few messages and maybe they finally noticed at this point. Like, hey, who's sending messages to us? Well, if you're watching this video right now, that was me. Anyway, so that's really all this just does. But I'm very appalled that they got this API key. I mean, I'm assuming I'm probably going to... If you see this or in the description... I mean, it could be legitimate to a legitimate channel that's been, like, hijacked or something, to be honest. I might just release it anyways because I'm, I just, I'm just gonna say screw it, I guess. But if this is actually genuinely a legit channel, then I will redact it. But the damage might already be done at that point, but I don't, quite frankly, I don't think it is, so... And if you are like, well, that was a legitimate, uh, the fishing operations channel. What the hell, man? Dog. So that's basically how this works. It just sends a uh, message into a channel, basically. And here's how I know that this is real. If you do the same thing, except you type this in Firefox, um, you type all this. But instead of full slash send message and then the rest that you just saw, you do full slash get me. It will return some JSON data. Or JSON, I just say JSON data. And look at all that. We got a username, uh, first name is whatever the heck this is. I don't, it says bot, so it's definitely a bot. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I. What? Wait. What the heck? This... Let me if I can get a Nitto instance. I'm gonna just find a Nitto instance to see if I can view this because I was on Twitter. I am not. Sorry, Nitto.PrivacyDev.net. You're my victim. Uh, I apologize. Who is this person? But they're a VTuber. Like... Mate, were they? This is, I think, it's it's literally the same API. Okay, yeah, I, I'm not redacting this. I'm not. It's already public, so I'm just gonna review. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna leak the detail. Uh, I, I I thought it worked. Oh well, you know what? That's the end of that. Uh, so can I see some of the posts and replies? Because I don't know who this is. Um, okay. Oh, what? 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 Look, I, I, I don't know. This just when I have not. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. Uh, this. Um, okay, this is. This is rather interesting. This is... Okay. Huh, I might have to look at that a bit later. Um, that's interesting. I never would have ever actually expected that to be from Twitter. Um, okay, yeah, but that's basically how... This is the real deal. Uh, I'm gonna post all this in the... In the um in the description, so you guys can freely play with this. Because look, the API key was already public, so screw it. Um, so yeah. Um, but ultimately, what we can learn from this is sometimes not all attacks are made equal, and sometimes they kind of are made very cheaply like this. Now, I'm not gonna open this, but. That's basically the point of this video was a to a's awareness, or just no, well, just really to show how this thing worked and also as such. Now, if you guys receive phishing emails too and want me to take a look at them, well, you can send them. Uh, I have an email in the description. It's actually the same email this thing was sent to me because it's actually public. Uh, let me show you. It's already in Tenacity's commit log, which boom. See, so it's not like. 
if that email gets compromised or found in like on have I been ha have I been pwned, then well, it's not a big deal because it's already public anyways. Passwords is another thing, but you get the idea. Um, so ultimately, yeah, that's just about it. Uh, let's see if I get to survive um to tomorrow or a week from now or something without getting hacked or so. Yeah, so ultimately, I think that's just all about it for for this video. I don't post a lot, and I know this comes as like a bit of an unexpected video. Then again, I never really thought I'd actually be doing this. I just thought this was pretty interesting. And maybe I'd like to take a bit more of, uh, take a look a bit more, that is, of whatever phishing email you guys receive. Maybe I can try to dissect it, use whatever tools I have available, and maybe we can try to mess with them, you know? Vigilante justice. Or we can also find enough detail about whoever's behind these phishing attempts and try to report them to the appropriate authorities, you know? So, ultimately, and that's the best thing, is that if you find out who's behind this, then you want to report them to the authorities. I don't have any, like, I don't have enough information. Oh, one more thing is you might have noticed about... Um, in the, this is very important that I mention this. You realize that this this person's YouTube channel. Now, full disclaimer, I do not have any reason to believe that they were involved in like this phishing scheme or whatever. I think they're just like an innocent bystander. I mean, they have a very nice website. Like, look at it real quick. Um, if you ever decide, um, if if you're watching this video right now, um, just note that your site's very awesome. Um, just look at it. I'm just gonna go scrolling through, but like, it, it's, it's very smooth. Like, it's, if you made this yourself, you did a very fantastic job. With that being said, you can also see that they have videos about using JavaScript and the Telegram bot, so you can send a message and such. So, I'm assuming whoever is behind the phishing scheme watched these videos, um, and then they set this all up and all. So, yeah, um, otherwise though, check out this dude's channel. I think they can use like at least a thousand subscribers. I think they deserve more than 606 su subscribers, you know what. Um, but please don't harass them or anything because, again, like I've said, I don't think they have any such involvement in, make in the making of this phishing scheme. I mean, it's possible that the attackers or the attempted perpetrators and all those behind the phishing, um, this phishing HTML page have attempted to, maybe they found some, like, template or something that that YouTuber wrote, and they just modified, I mean, maybe they just copy and pasted some of his code. Um, so, I don't have reason to believe that they're behind this, so just FYI. Innocent to proven guilty, you know. But anyway, so overall what we can conclude is not all phishing emails are made the same. Some have a bit more effort put into them than others. And ultimately, yeah, if, so if you like this video, uh, make sure you give it a like. I mean, insert general YouTube generic stuff here. I am a generic person after all. <laughs> But, like, yeah, if you if you found this video helpful, you can give it a like. Um, oh, yeah, I also accept donations now. If you guys like the stuff I do um, and want to help me out, um, I'll have that in the description if you guys want to support me. But more importantly, though, in the comment section, let me know, A, what you guys think about all this, B, about what other kind of um phishing emails uh what, what other kind of phishing attempts you want me to take a look at and maybe i can try to we try to dissect them together maybe this could be a new thing i can do um just send in your stuff i'm also gonna have my email in the description which again it's already public so i don't really think it matters in terms of phishing because you're going to find my email anyways um case in point tenacity's commit log uh which i did open this again right there so yeah um thank you for sticking with me uh through this somewhat long video i guess by modern youtube standards but yeah uh thank you for watching this video and maybe i'll see you in the next one